Hey, welcome back to the conversation. This is one of my favorite topics, uh, and it's called KISS. Uh, if you ever heard the acronym K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid, but we're gonna make this a two-fold thing. This is KISS, keep it simple, stupid, nutrition. So how do you lose weight through your diet? Uh, the problem is that the answer varies just so much, but it also depends on who you ask, right? So um, some people uh, will tell you the best way to lose weight is to eat fewer calories, eat less simple makes more sense right counting your calories then making sure that you consume fewer calories than you burn all right sounds good to me uh, that is a way that I started off doing things so this way that my body was in deficient of burning and forcing my body to do a uh, fat burning storage right so burn all that fat out and it's sitting there so but that makes sense to me that makes a lot of sense to a lot of people but if I go somewhere else blog, Instagram, maybe a Facebook uh, post or something like that, they might tell me something totally different. They might point out that, you know, counting calories is stupid. It's actually hard to do. It may not be the best thing that you want to do, but it happens. You know what I mean? People want to do it and stuff like that, and that's really hard to do. And it's actually not. And it's not nearly impossible to do. You just have to be, uh, you have to be able to want to do it. But not only that, it doesn't, it's boring. And if you're a person like me, doing boring things is not mean anything that means i'm not gonna stick with it for a while but it also says nothing about nutrition and it doesn't say anything about my appetite that i want to perceive that i like these are the things i like right so if you eat fewer calories uh then technically you can lose weight by eating donuts i love donuts so that could be a thing that i would probably want to do but what would but i know eating donuts is not the best thing so it would basically destroy my health, leave me hungry and malnourished. So that's something that I probably would not want to do in that sense. But, you know, it makes sense to, like, eat less, right? So what do I do instead? Um, according to, you know, the people of the different ways and stuff, it's more useful to focus on keeping my carbohydrates intake down. Okay, so, you know what I mean? Low carbs now, okay? I'm into that one now, too, as well. Um, this will help you prevent blood sugar spikes. Uh, will avoid the empty calories, you know, if, if you avoid the processed uh, simple carb stuff, too, as well. That way, I'm getting good, fulfilling, nutritious, and whole foods. Great. So, that makes sense to me, too, as well. So, I don't see anything wrong with that, with that, that thought process there, as well. But... I'm also, I'm an intimate faster as well. So, and then you have the low carb fat, the low fat crowd too as well. So, no wonder why people don't manage to lose weight. And that's one of the things right now. That's right here there. So, the issue is that almost all these diets are complex. They're, uh, they are hard to follow. Uh, they are unsociable as well. So, they also involve, if you want to think about it, they involve a lot of um, amount of time in the kitchen uh and you know they can get expensive you know what i mean people who eat really healthy they they put a lot of time in their kitchen they're bringing their food with them you see them they're doing that they're basically not being sociable at all they're always into something different right so these are the things that are going on for us most uh, important part of any diet is simple that you stick with it all right there is no point in starting a diet unless you sustain it indefinitely. This is a lifestyle. You have to be able to do this for a long period of time. If you start a diet and give up in two months, then you're going to put that weight back on. Trust me, you will put that weight back on. Okay, so let's simplify it. None of these diets are wrong. I believe a diet is exactly what it is. The first three letters of diet is die. That means you're not going to hold it on for long. So you need to learn how to adjust, adapt it to yours, and execute the diet that it says and make it yours. Make it your own so it works for you. All right. They all have their good points. Uh, the problem is that they get too extreme in one direction. And as often in the case, the middle way is best, the best way. So you know how they say moderation, uh, do everything in moderation. This is the one time I would say do this in moderation. Nutrition is a moderation thing. It all depends on how you feel and what you would do in that case. So 
in this case, the middle may, way may, may be this. And I'll say this. Um, try to eat fewer calories. Try to eat fewer processed simple carbs. Uh, avoid the obviously bad foods, you know, chips, chocolate bars, ice cream, and swap them for something healthy or healthier. Eat less. Uh, don't be obsessive about counting your calories, but try to work out what you need to eat every day. So for me, myself, I actually eat the same type of things every day. So I kind of know what's in that calorie count already. And don't and, and just eat a little less than you normally would, you know. So that helps you out too as well. Don't be afraid to go a little hungry. And I'm an intimate faster, so I don't mind starting my first meal at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and then going from there. That is something I've always done for, for many of years, and I believe in intimate fashion. That's just something I believe in. Uh, it could be different for you. That might not be something that you would be interested in, but you should look into it. Get your research. Get it down and try to try it. You know, it's something, something that's really good for some people. Fasting makes you uh, more focused as well. Uh, sometimes uh, the easiest way to eat significantly less is to drastically reduce one or two meals. So, and that's what I've done for years and stuff like that. So, um, finding ways to, and then find ways to fit your new diet into your routine or into your regimen of your life. Uh, that is one of the best things I've ever done. One strategy that I highly recommend for losing weight is to eat less at breakfast and at lunch. Uh, these are the two meals that I know for a fact are the boring meals. Uh, this is it's easier to cut down on those meals because you tend they tend not to be social. When you when you're in a social setting, you tend to eat more. Uh, you probably drink wine or do more. You're eating with your family. You tend to eat more because you're talking and you're distracted. Not just from the fact of eating, but you're distracted because. You have other people around you and they're eating and you continue to eat because they're eating and you're talking and just having a good time. Maybe in front of a TV, maybe with your partner, uh, maybe out with friends. You know what I mean? But lunch and breakfast tend to be the non-sociable. Um, they tend to be not the non-sociable uh, moments when you are eating. You usually do it when what? You wake up in the morning. You're not trying to talk to me. Most people, most people don't talk to me until I have my first cup of coffee. You know, stuff like that. Or you're commuting to work or something like that. So, uh, the more you eat, uh, you can eat more boring meals, and you will be less likely to get tempted by the more indulging opportunities like dinner and other things like that. Okay, so that is something that most people really need to understand. Just take a little bit and start devolving, the, just get into what I just said about nutrition. That'll help you out. I've been living this way for a long time, and I've enjoyed that type. I've be able to eat the things I want to eat and do those things. Like I said, I'm intimate faster, and I love it, but look into what works for you, what works best for you, all right? So everybody, please take care of yourself. Uh, don't go out there being crazy and stuff. I know we're in a different situation, in a different world right now uh, with the pandemic going on in our world, but please stay safe. Wash your hands, do your whole thing, and still be healthy. We have to stay healthy to boost that immune system. All right? So, next conversation. Peace.